Welcome to the show. Thanks. That clip was only a tiny moment of intensity from a film that is being lauded by so many people. Mm. Um, you play a character opposite Nicole Kidman, who is really, I mean, struggling in life, someone who's addicted to drugs, someone who's not tethered to reality. Mm -hmm. did, you did you enjoy how intense this character was? Yeah, it's fun. It's, I mean, it's fun. It, weirdly, you know, getting to dig into that kind of uh, complicated territory as an actor is, is juicy and fun. Right. And getting to work opposite Nicole, who's just completely transformed in this movie. As soon as I knew it was her doing it, I thought, oh, God, this is going to be so special because she just hasn't done this before and she always makes such brave kind of unconventional choices. Right. So, yeah. And she, she got a Golden Globe um, nomination because yeah. of that. And, I mean, you, you're part of that process. They always say the best actors are only as good as their, their counterparts. So, I mean, you, you're in this film acting across from her. When you're playing a character like this, how deep do you go into it? Because, you know, you always hear people saying, like, be careful how deep you go into a character with problems because mm. you might take those problems home with you. Like, do you, do you get so deep that you, you, you start to blur the lines of reality? I mean, I feel like I always take home a character, again, like, in with joy, though. It doesn't feel like a burden that I'm like, oh, now I'm addicted to drugs. Huh. But, but I did a lot of drugs during this film. No, I... <laughs> no, it was just... It, it was more like reading and watching, you know, documentaries and watching footage because there's so much on the Internet right. that you can kind of fall deep into. And, and get a sense of what that life might be. And also, there's so many relatable sort of themes in terms of family. You know, ultimately, my character Petra is looking for family, you know, in whatever kind of twisted way she's seeking it out. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was a joy. Is it, is it weird for you? So many people know you from Orphan Black. You've got massive fans from Orphan Black. You played, what, like 12 versions? I think so. Of yourself, yeah. basically. Is it weird for you to play one character now? Yeah, it's so boring. Are you like sitting there like, come on guys, oh another goodness. one, come on, come on. Yeah. Hungarian, like how many accents did guys. you do? How many, how many characters? Oh, like... probably, thir yeah, like yeah, 12, 10 13? or 11. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of, there was a lot of dialogue. I feel like happening. there's moments on the film where you could just be like, Nicole, I'll do you now. Okay, I'll do you. <laughs> Director, cut. I'm me, I'm you as well. All right, yeah, everybody, right. just, um, but now you're on Broadway. Yeah. Getting rave reviews for Network. Now, a lot of people, May know this, may not know this. Um, the play is based off a film. Yes. I think it was from 1976. It yeah. was a, a, an award-winning film about... Really, it was... Uh, it seems prescient now as mm -hmm. an idea of what the news would become. Yeah. Because it's what the news has become. It's about fake news. It's about the way an entertainment and news have become fused. Right. And the line is blurry, and, you know, the people that we let go on television and speak and let their beliefs be what we then ingest. You know, it's all about that. And it's all about the, the manufacturing of, uh, of, of those, like, of a profit or right. of a, you know. There's some, it's funny because, you know, we talk about that on the show. You see people talk about it online, everywhere. Where we say, you'll see, like, people on CNN fighting about a topic, you know? Is gravity real? What do you think? And it's like, <laughs> well, but why is this person there? Why is... I don't think gravity's a real thing because... Yeah. But, you, like, in Network... <laughs> I like that he's a robot. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's... That's how gravity... <laughs> yeah. gravityless people talk. Yeah, that's yeah. Thing. I don't They're think gravity's cyborgs. a thing because... Um, <laughs> But, but, yeah, I think in Network, you guys break down the idea behind it, like the why, which, yeah. is, which is the ratings, the, the entertainment value. Totally. If people aren't watching, then it doesn't matter. And so how do you get people to watch? You know, it's buzzwords, it's inflammatory, whatever, this, that. It's things that um, enrage people, that, right. that upset people, that make people want to keep watching. You know, you see that clickbait or whatever. It's something that, that grabs you viscerally. And that's what Howard Beale does in this, in this piece in, in Network, played by Brian Cranston, like, unbelievably. He's so amazing in it. But he harnesses this idea of, like, popular rage and this uh, everything we should be angry about, everything that's not right in the world, everything. And he sort of uh, invades against those, those, you know, sort of topics in this way that riles up the audience. And... Do you think having acted in network makes you see the news differently now? I mean, I feel like it's impossible not to see the news differently in the past, you know, however many gross years we've been kind of struggling through. It's been a hundred. It's been, it feels like a hundred. Yeah, it's, it's been a hundred, <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, it definitely puts it, it... I also have to empathize myself with my character who is kind of the, like, the one who does it. Right. Who creates this profit. In what way? Well, my character is Diana Christensen, and she's a television executive who sort of sees this popular rage that Howard Beale is talking about and wants to harness it and bottle it and kind of commodify it and sell it because she sees how 
people will respond to it right. and that the ratings will go up. So I have to kind of understand it in a way. The other, you know, the side that I normally would be like. You have to mm. find the human side of the person who's basically breaking the world as we know it. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. This is just like part of your thing. You just take characters that nobody would want to play and you're like, yeah, I take them home yeah. with me. I'm like, I like that guy. Yeah. Thank you so much <laughs> for being on the show. Thanks. An so absolute much. pleasure having you. <laughs> Network runs on Broadway through March 17th. It's amazing. You have to go see it. Destroyer opens in select cities December 25th. Tatiana Maslany, everybody.